Good morning, children. Hope you all are doing well. Now, adding to the previous knowledge on adverbs, I am going to further take you ahead on this topic, adverb, which is the part of grammar in your first lesson. As we all know that there are eight parts of speech in the English language. Noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection. The part of speech indicates how the word functions in meaning as well as grammatically within the sentence. Today, we are going to learn about the fifth part of speech, which is... Now, moving on to the definition of an adverb. What is an adverb? Well, first, it is important to understand the words adverbs work closely with. Starting with verbs, adjectives and other adverbs. A verb is a word that expresses action or a state of being. For example, jump, run, swim, ski, fish, talk. Now, an adjective is a word that describes or clarifies a noun. For example, pretty, happy, silly, sunny. Now, a noun. A noun is a person, place or a thing in its simplest definition. For example, girl, dog, mom. Once you see a few examples, it will be easy to see how adverbs function in a sentence. To simplify things, they explain the action. Here are some examples of adverbs modifying verbs. He runs quickly. How does he run? He runs quickly. So here, quickly is an adverb. She walks slowly. How does she walk? She walks slowly. Here, slowly is an adverb. He is happily chattering over there in the corner. How is he chattering? He is happily chattering. So here, happily is an adverb defining the verb chattering. Adverbs can also modify adjectives or other adverbs. They provide more information about that other descriptive word. Adverbs modify verbs. While modifying a verb, the adverb can occupy various positions in a sentence. Tomorrow, I am leaving for Spain. I am leaving tomorrow for Spain. I am leaving for Spain tomorrow. So here you can see the adverb tomorrow in the various positions in all the three sentences. Softly she sang to the baby. She sang softly to the baby. She softly sang to the baby. See the positions of adverbs in all these three sentences. It is occupying various positions in all the three sentences. Note, the placement of adverbs in relation to verbs can change the emphasis or even the meaning of a phrase. For example, John was just pegged 
to post the program. When was he picked? He was picked just now. So that this describes about the adverb time. Just John was picked to host the program. Only John was picked. He was the only one who was picked. So here again it describes about the adverb. John was picked to host just the program. Just picked for the program. Why was he picked up? He was picked up for the program. So here again, just picked for the program describes about the adverb. Example 2. She hungrily ate the dinner her mom had cooked. Ate hungrily. Again, it is an adverb. Now moving on to the next sentence. She ate the dinner her mom had cooked hungrily. Cooked hungrily. Again, the, there is a change in the emphasis and hungrily is the adverb in this sentence. Adverbs modify adjectives. This was taught to you in your previous class. Now moving ahead with the adverbs which modify adjectives or adverbs are called intensifiers. Intensifiers usually answer the question to what extent? They are also called adverbs of degree because they tell how much or how little. Adverbs can describe adjectives. For example, the cat is cute. How cute? The cat is so cute. I saw a funny movie. How funny? I saw a ridiculously funny movie. Moving on to the next sentence. The lecture was interesting. How interesting? The lecture was quite interesting. Note, an adverb that modifies an adjective completely prepared usually appears immediately in front of the word it modifies. Adverbs modify adverbs. Some adverbs Modify other adverbs. For example, he plays piano well. How well? He plays piano exceptionally well. So here, exceptionally is a verb which is modifying another adverb well. Some whales are spotted. Rarely. How rarely? Some whales are spotted extremely rarely. So here again, adverb is extremely which is modifying another adverb which is rarely. She spoke indiscreetly. How indiscreetly? She spoke too indiscreetly. Here, too is an adverb. Adding to another adverb indiscreetly. Note, an adverb that modifies another adverb very well usually appears immediately in front of the word it modifies. How are adverbs formed? Most adverbs are formed by simply adding ly to adjectives. For example, active, actively, intelligent, intelligently, quick, quickly, strong, strongly, etc. Special cases when adding ly. Adjectives ending in y change the y to i before adding ly. For example, angry, 
angrily. Adjectives ending in E drop the E before adding the LY. For example, true, truly. Note, some words ending in LY are usually adjectives. Example, friendly, lively, lonely, etc. Some adverbs do not end in LY. For example, sometimes, later, often, soon, here, there, everywhere, so, too, fast, well, hard, long, straight, etc. While coming to the end of this grammar portion, children, I am going to forward you a worksheet based on adverbs. Thank you children. Stay home. Stay safe.